A German defense startup has developed a surveillance system unlike anything seen before. Real cockroaches fitted with tiny sensor backpacks that can crawl into environments where drones and robots won't fit or survive. These bio-robotic scouts can be steered individually or moved together as a swarm, sending encrypted live data from places like collapsed buildings, tunnels, or contested zones. So, in today's video, we're exploring everything we know about Germany's cyborg cockroach swarms, how they're built, what they can do, and what they might mean for the future of tactical intelligence. Let's dive in. Developed by the Berlin-based startup Swarm Biotactics, these cyborg insects are designed to function in complex, GPS-denied or hazardous environments where conventional drones and robots face limitations. Swarm Biotactics was founded in 2023 as part of Germany's growing push toward defense innovation. The company recently raised 13 million euros in funding, including 10 million euros in seed investment, to advance its work on insect-based surveillance systems. While the concept of cyborg insects isn't entirely new, Swarm is among the first to pursue scalable deployment for military and security applications. The system centers around a lightweight modular pack that attaches to live cockroaches. Each pack includes electrodes for neural stimulation, miniature cameras, environmental sensors, and a short-range encrypted communication unit. By sending small electrical impulses to the insect's antennae, operators can control its direction of movement. The system collects real-time video and sensor data from hard-to-access environments and transmits it back to the user. According to the company, cockroaches can go where mechanical systems often fail. They can move through narrow cracks, unstable rubble, and tight industrial spaces without getting stuck or triggering structural collapse. The packs are designed to complement these abilities, enabling low-profile, ground-level surveillance in scenarios where traditional drones are too large, too loud, or too easily detected. Swarm's platform also incorporates basic swarm behavior. Operators can guide one or more lead insects directly, while others follow based on pre-programmed AI coordination rules and the natural tendency of cockroaches to stay together. This allows the swarm to cover larger areas without requiring individual control of each unit. The packs are designed for quick attachment, allowing large numbers of cockroaches to be equipped and deployed within minutes. Unlike earlier research prototypes that required manual fitting and could only be used in small numbers, Swarm claims its system is modular, energy efficient, and scalable. The cockroach's own movement helps power the system, reducing the need for external batteries or motors. Each pack can handle navigation, data collection, and communication with minimal strain on the insect. In practical terms, the technology could be useful for search and rescue operations, military reconnaissance, and security missions in confined or hazardous environments. For example, cockroach swarms could navigate collapsed buildings to locate survivors, detect gas leaks, or assess structural conditions. In military settings, they could enter contested areas ahead of human troops, relaying video or sensor data without revealing their presence. Because they produce almost no acoustic or radar signature, the cockroaches are unlikely to be detected by conventional monitoring systems. Their ability to operate silently and in large numbers could give them an advantage in situations where stealth and persistence are essential. If one insect fails, others can take its place, or in some cases, assist it in recovering, based on behaviors observed in field testing. Despite its promise, the system faces technical and ethical challenges. Each insect has a limited lifespan and may shed or damage its pack during molting. Environmental hazards such as moisture, dust, or extreme heat could also impact performance. For the technology to work in real-world conditions, the packs must be durable, replaceable, and easy to reattach. There are also unresolved ethical concerns. While cockroaches are not protected under most animal welfare laws, the use of live organisms for mechanical tasks 
raises broader questions about regulation and control, especially within the European Union. Swarm maintains that the insects are unharmed and continue to live normally after their missions, but some experts have called for clearer ethical standards and oversight as the technology advances. Another challenge is communication reliability. In dense structures or underground tunnels, signal strength may drop, limiting the range of direct operator control. This is why improving autonomous navigation systems remains a key part of the project. Swarm is still developing algorithms that would allow cockroaches to complete missions independently once given initial direction. Germany's support for this kind of platform reflects a shift toward unconventional systems in its broader defense strategy. As Berlin increases defense spending to meet NATO targets, there is growing interest in AI-enabled tools and next-generation surveillance methods. By funding early-stage companies like Swarm alongside traditional contractors, Germany is positioning itself to lead in specialized ISR technologies that could reshape battlefield intelligence. Globally, very few countries have made comparable progress. While China has tested similar bio-robotic concepts using bees and beetles, most remain confined to labs or small-scale demonstrations. Swarm's project appears to be the first aimed at delivering a modular, mass-deployable system for real-world ISR operations. If successful, it could influence how future reconnaissance tools are designed, especially in environments where drones and robots reach their limits. Germany's cyborg cockroach swarms may sound unsettling, but Swarm Biotactics is building a new toolset for ISR, where traditional robotics struggle. The real test will be whether they can operate reliably, ethically, and effectively at scale. What do you think? Will cockroach scouts enter military and rescue arsenals soon, or should resources go elsewhere? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.